Hey guys, today I'm in the kitchen with my waffle maker and I'm gonna be showing you some very cool and innovative ways to use it when you're not just making waffles. There's so many different foods that you could use this for then it's definitely not just limited to breakfast waffles anymore. So grab some of these ingredients, get your taste buds ready and let's do this. The first one's quite a classic which you might have seen before and that is cinnamon rolls. Take a packet of ready to cook cinnamon rolls and cut them up as if you were going to bake them. But then instead of chucking them in the oven, just put one in each section of your waffle maker, close the lid and cook it for about two or three minutes. If you fancy, you can drizzle over some cream cheese frosting for an extra delicious touch. After trying these hot fresh treats, you'll never want to eat cinnamon rolls the old way ever again. Now donuts are pretty good, but I think you can see what's coming here. Next time you're gonna have one, whack it in your waffle maker instead. And a few minutes later, it will be a hot gooey piece of awesomeness that is 10 times better than what it was a few minutes before. Chocolate brownies. Gotta love them, but baking them in the oven is definitely for losers now because you can chuck the mixture in your waffle maker. They'll cook pretty quick, will be crunchy on the outside, soft in the middle, and just the perfect brownie ever. Whack on a scoop of cold ice cream while the brownie's still warm and you can't get much better than that. Personally, I really love paninis but don't have a panini maker and there's no way of making a panini at home unless you have a panini maker. Until now, because you have a waffle maker and it pretty much works the same way so you're all set. Just take a panini, put in the filling of your choice, throw it in the waffle maker and it will be done in a few minutes. Mmm, -mm, looks good. Take pretty much any cake mix and do the things as it says to do on the box. Hopefully it should be pretty simple. And then, you know what's coming, whack it in the waffle maker. Within a few minutes we'll have an awesome waffly cake waffle cake thing. And there we go, hopefully I've inspired you to find new ways to use your waffle maker because it's definitely not limited to waffles anymore. And if you didn't have a waffle maker, then you're probably tempted to buy one right now, am I right? Do please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And remember, I've got a lot of other hacks videos on my channel, so go down to the description box and click on my name or my display picture. You'll be taken to my channel and there you'll find a whole bank of videos which you can watch next. If this is the first video of mine you've watched, then do please subscribe so you can see all new future videos that I make too. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.